I'm coming home, I'm coming home Tell the world I'm coming home Let the rain wash away All the pain of yesterday Florida. Jason, I'm from Maryland. Sonia, and I'm from Minnesota. I'm Gary, I'm from New Jersey. Let's go! I'm Matt, and I'm from London. My name is Sasha, and I'm from British. Dan, and I'm from Manchester. My name is Simon, I'm from France. Shake that. I decided to do tour this year because I thought it'd be a wonderful experience. It's been so much fun so far, so hopefully it can only get better. But I love all the people, I love what we've done, I love what we've seen. So far it's fun, I think I'll be able to handle it. It should be good. Uh, the reason I came on this little tour was to make friends, see the sights of Israel. And it definitely was the best experience of my life so far and I can't wait for it to experience the rest of it. I'm expecting to learn a lot about Israel and about myself, uh, all the Israeli culture, the Jewish culture, and everything about Israel. Tired, hungry, but honestly, it's been the best four days so far. You just you wouldn't exchange it for anything. I'm really excited for week two because it's the Maccabea. We're going to Alap, we're going snorkeling, we're going to the Dead Sea. I've met loads of people from America, from Canada, from everywhere. It's been absolutely incredible. The food is amazing and it's so nice to be in the sun as opposed to rainy England. <laughs> So far we've just been in the Negev which isn't known as the funnest of places uh, so hopefully when we get to Alat and go uh, into the Canera and the Maccabea obviously hopefully that will just be so much better than this even though this is incredible. Today I don't feel like doing anything I just wanna lay in my pain Don't feel like picking up my phone So leave a message at the tone Cause today I swear I'm We talked about Israel a lot in Sunday school and the temple, so I knew a lot about like the politics here and you know like how important it is to our religion and how it's our homeland. Like we we talked about Israel a lot. My name is Jake Rothenberg, I'm from Maplewood, New Jersey, and we are in the desert. I feel awesome. Um, Israel is like the coolest country in the world. We have just so much history here as Jews, and the culture is so defined and so different everywhere you go, but it's still like this whole feeling that everyone is Jewish, and it's like this incredible feeling that you don't feel anywhere else in the world. Tomorrow morning we're going to be waking up at 3 a.m. really early and um, climbing Masada. And we're going to hike to Masada and we're going to watch the sunrise and I'm so excited. It's going to be amazing. Bo 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 boketov. Boketov mahon one. Boketov mahon one.
Yeah. We're looking at the sunset at Masada and it is beautiful. We're at the Masada and the climb was a pain, but it was so worth it. It was awesome. Look at it. <laughs> אדם נאבט לצדדים, ראה מה רוכש מסביבנו חבר. גלי גלים הנראים באוויר, תדר נמוך כיאה. כאן במדבר הרחוק מכל עיר, אך איזה בוקר נאה. Being in Israel is a really great experience with all of my friends. I've known some of them for like nine years and I've grown up with them, so it was really great. It's really different. You say yes, I say no. You say you stop, I say go. Right now we're in Arad, we're playing with um, Sudanese refugees. We're spending time with uh, refugees from Darfur. We decided to make a carnival for them and they're all running around and we're playing games, we're playing some soccer and we're, we're enjoying the nice outdoors together. You say goodbye and I say hello, hello, hello. The friends that I met in Young Judea, you spend a lot of time together in very close quarters, so the experiences you have with them and the bonds you stay with them are lifetime bonds. They're my best friends. We're just having so much fun and I hope the summer never ends. It's amazing. Hello. We are holding a sports day for the Ethiopian children who next week will be bar and bat mitzvahed. This is my first time in Israel. I'm enjoying it very much. I'm meeting new people. This is a new friend I've made here. I teach him a boxing routine. Five, three, Just playing games with them. Skipping, like they love to play, like skipping rope and everything has been really great. Just, it's just like little things are like helping out. It's really good. We're at an archaeological dig and we went into a tunnel and we were able to walk around and see where people lived 2,000 years ago. There are multiple caves that we walked through and just climbing and stuff. Yeah, we went to a cave and it was really small. These were actually basements a long time ago and right now we're going through them just looking around trying to find some artifacts. I like everyone in the group, they are all so nice and kind and funny, it's always really good for them. I'm excited to, to go to the army and Elat also, it's a really great city, yeah I'm excited.
So right now, uh, we're in Tel Aviv and we just went to Independence Hall where um, in 1948, David Ben-Gurion declared the State of Israel. We actually got to sit in the very place where it happened. I really felt a close connection. I wanted to explore all of my morals and values and actually experience it in the country that I love. And I also wanted to see all of the sites that I have never seen before and I enjoyed every minute of it. I almost feel complete. I feel like this this experience um, has really reached um, its its biggest point because, like, it's long enough into the trip that I've bonded with all the people in my group, and I can really say that we're a family right now.